this is going to be an exercise of concentration on a candle flame. If one does this with enough concentration and your physical body manages to fall asleep, then you are able to leave your body and astral project straight into the candle flame. Even if you don't manage to do this, practicing this technique will sharpen your ability of concentration, which is one of the two keys for successful astral projection and lucid dreaming, the other key being relaxation. So what we are going to be doing now is begin by relaxing the body So, just sink into your chair, or if you'd like to, you can sit cross-legged on the floor. I recommend using your own candle for this. However, if you do not have one at your disposal, you may use the one on the video. So just close your eyes and slow down your breathing, taking big deep breaths. Inhale relaxation and exhale tension. Just take a moment to let go of all the stress you have accumulated in the day. Just center your mind. And prepare your mind to be focused on this technique. So just relax your toes and loosen up your feet and ankles. Relax up your legs and your hips. Keep making sure your breathing is nice and deep breathing with your stomach rather than with the top of your chest. Make sure your back is is straight and just drop your shoulders down. Relax your arms and your hands and fingers. Now relax your neck and your jaw, your cheeks and your eyes all the way up to the top of the head. And once more, just quickly, one wave of relaxation beginning from your feet, flowing gently up through to the top of the head. Now open your eyes and observe the candle flame. Look at the colors. Look at the wick 
and the candle itself. Pay attention to all the different colours and textures. Pay attention to the way the flame moves. You might be able to feel the flame's heat. Don't use your mind to analyse. Just take in all the details. And now, close your eyes and recreate what you saw, but with your mind's eye. So use your imagination and recreate what you were able to see with your physical eyes. Recreate the same colors and shapes and motion of the flame. And now open your eyes again and look at the flame once more, this time taking even more details so that when we're closing our eyes the next time you'll be able to reconstruct the flame with even higher detail. And now close your eyes again and create an even more detailed candle. If you find the image fading, or if you find you start daydreaming, or the mind starts chattering, just gently bring your mind back and recreate that candle. Now once more, we're going to open our eyes. And now, take in even more detail. Maybe look at the texture of the candle wax. Or study the wick in detail, see all the fibers, or the exact shape of the candle flame or see the pool of melted wax. See the reflection the flame makes with the wax. See the blue at the bottom of the flame.
and the glowing tip of the wick. Close your eyes once more. Recreate that candle. Okay, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be using the imagination to explore the candle. So imagine yourself as being a tiny particle, a very tiny piece of dust sized particle. and you're able to roam free and fly around. So go up to the candle. Go right up to it and explore it with your five senses. So what can you see? Can you hear the flame making any noises? Does the wax or smoke give off any smell? Can you feel the heat from the flame? Can you extend your hand and touch the wax? What does that feel like? Immerse yourself in this exploration using as much detail as you can. If you wish, you can go inside the flame itself. Feel its heat, which is very intense but it does not cause any pain. What is it like to be the candle flame? And when you're ready, 
just open your eyes and we'll bring this practice to an end. So this practice can be done in your own time, obviously for longer periods if you wish. The more you do this, the more concentrated you'll be in waking life and you will also have an increased rate of lucid dreams and an increased success rate with astral projection. And as I have mentioned earlier, you can even astral project straight from this technique alone if your concentration is sharp enough and your relaxation is deep enough. The trick is to maintain a high standard of concentration without tensing up the body. Good luck everyone. Post your feedback in the comment section below.